When it comes to movies based on toys, we got plenty of them. We have Transformers, G.I. Joes, My Little Pony, Care Bears, Max Steel, Barbie, Bionicles, Trolls. You get the picture. We got plenty of movies based on toys. But you know which toy we still haven't had a movie based on of? Stretch Armstrong. Yes, Stretch Armstrong. The blonde muscular man that can stretch in any direction by pulling from his arms, legs, and torso. The toy expanding up to 4 feet long. About 2.5% long as a football field, just to get a picture. Stretch Armstrong coming out in the holiday of 1976 by the now defunct company Kenner. The idea for Stretch Armstrong coming from Jesse D. Horowitz during 1974, whose initial idea was to put small springs inside him to give him his elastic abilities. However, this plan was shut down since it had the risk of the springs coming out of the toy and hurting the children they were trying to sell it to. So James Jeeves Kuhn, the vice president of Kenner Research and Development at the time, suggested to put corn syrup inside of him instead. Howitt's Jeep and a model maker named Richie Dubik boiled down their corn syrup until it no longer had any air in it, and filled their sample latex molds with it. Once finished, they showed it to former Kenner president Bernie Loomis, who quickly signed off the product into production, the toy becoming very popular among consumers, and later spawning other toys made in Stretch Armstrong liking, like the Stretch Monsters, Stretch X-Rays, Stretch Superheroes, even Stretch Disney characters. Now seeing this toy for the first time, I can understand the appeal it had in the 70s. I mean, stretching it as far as it can go, and having a toy that had extra mobility sure is a plus. Stretch Armstrong was very popular between the years 1976 to 1979. Unfortunately though, the interest for Stretch soon declined in the 80s, putting an end to his production. Stretch Armstrong wasn't completely out of the picture though. In the 1990s, he was reissued by Cap Toys. This time ditching the perfect chisel face in favor of a giftier yet somewhat creepier one. Though this version of Stretch didn't last, making this the last time we'll see of him for a while. Stretch Armstrong went away from the public scene. Now, how do you make Stretch Armstrong ever come back to the world? With a movie. That's right, a Stretch Armstrong movie. Stretch was coming back baby, and this time he was gonna be a star. Stretch out for a bit because you're in for a long ride. In the early 90s, Disney obtained the film rights for Stretch and a movie began on development. Disney had several scripts written for the movie, including an early virgin family comedy written by Greg Erb, who wrote for Disney's Princess and the Frog, and the up-and-coming Playmobil movie. The movie was to star Tim Allen as Stretch Armstrong, and it was supposed to be about a single dad working as a scientist, feeling Stretch too thin trying to balance work and his family. One day accidentally taking one of his experimental serum, giving him his stretchy powers. Unfortunately though, Tim Allen turned down the role, and the script was scrapped. Don't worry though, a new one was made. This time by Michael Kaznico, responsible for writing Spoiler and How to Kill Your Neighbor's Dog. According to a Hollywood reporter, this is what Michael Kaznico had to say for a Stretch Armstrong movie. Stating, My version took place in San Francisco because I wanted to use the bridge and those streets. I wanted to stretch the living hell out of him. At one point he saves an armored truck that goes off the bridge. There were all these big fun set pieces. There's one where he stretches so high that he passes the fuselage of a jet. The director for this film was to be Peter Kerr, who thought that Michael Kaznicka vision was way too huge, saying the script had a massive climax more suited to a Spider-Man movie. So it sounds like we had a movie with cool action scenes for our stretchy guy. So it makes you wonder who would be the guy to fit this daredevil role. Just take a wild guess and you'll probably be on the right track. That's right, Danny DeVito. How? You don't think I know what's going on? Oh, eh? Jesus Christ! I don't get it! Eh? Open your mouth, bitch! What? Prepare to be blasted, <laughs> bitch! Yeah, apparently Danny DeVito was chosen to stretch around and save the day. Like, can you imagine that? Danny DeVito stretching around in every possible direction? Hmm. I would've liked to see that. This sounds like it could've been good. So it makes you think what went wrong. Why wasn't this movie made? Well, it turned out Danny DeVito just didn't want any jokes in the expense of his hype. Which, unfortunately, stopped the movie from coming out. Which, uh, come on Danny, don't you think you're being a bit too short-sighted on this one? Don't you think this role could've widened your horizon? Can't you reach to the fact that this movie would've been a success? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Disney's last attempt was to hire Jackie Chan to play Stretch Armstrong, but that too also fell through. Disney eventually losing the rights to make the film, and Hasbro later bought the rights to Stretch Armstrong himself, it being till 2008 where there will be another chance for a movie, this time by Universal Studios who signed a deal with Hasbro to create movies based on their toys, giving us the Battleship movie, which we all know how that turned out. <laughs> Seeing this 
Seriously, this Simpsons clip is more entertaining than the whole film. B3! You shot my battleship! <laughs> G52! You shot my battleship! <laughs> oh, I got a bingo! What do I win? A banana! A whole one! Rob Letterman was the director and Nicholas Stuhler was our writer. Which, fun fact, Nicholas Stuhler at the time was also working on the 2011 Muppets movie. The title being the greatest Muppet movie of all time. Good title, right? Well, that's nothing. Because the original title was the cheapest Muppet movie ever made. Which makes you think of what would the movie even look like? Were they going to use hand puppets for the entire film or something? Was it just going to be a hand with googly eyes? I really would have liked to see what this could have been. Anyways, let's get back on topic. Besides Stuller writing for both Muppet movies, he also wrote for Storks and Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. And Rob Letterman has directed Chart Tales, Monster vs. Aliens, and Gulliver's Travel. After reading that, it sounds like the movie would have been in good hands. Well, probably. But there was one problem. It was announced from Studio Co. Chairman Donald Langley that Taylor Lautner would have starred as Stretch Armstrong. Donald Langley saying that with Lautner's success, energy, and athleticism, he's a perfect fit for an unlikely hero. Which... Eh... I don't know. I don't think so. Can you really look at this guy and think, oh yeah, he's definitely fit to play the solo role of Stretch Armstrong? I mean, okay, look, fine. He was good as playing as a hillbilly in The Ridiculous Six. By the way, great movie. But other than that, eh, I don't think this would have played out too well if I'm being honest. Especially him having such a big and strong physique and being tied to Twilight at the time. Doesn't really make you believe that this guy could stretch. But it doesn't matter because like you guessed, this movie wasn't made. Another script was made during this time by Steve Odekirk, and it was rumored to be directed by Ron Howard. But this too didn't come out. However, a video has surfaced though, giving us a glimpse of what the Stretch Armstrong movie would have looked like from Universal Studios. <coughs> now I'm gonna give you a quick warning. This is, um, it's pretty bad. It's... How do I describe this? It's just... It's just, it's the epitome of edgy and just trying too hard to be dark. It, just take a look. Yeah, that was, um, pretty bad. Look, I don't think I have to say this. Stretch Armstrong is a silly character. I mean, he's a guy that could bend in any direction. It's supposed to be funny to begin with. I mean, think about all the jokes that come with stretching. I mean, do I even have to mention the most obvious one? I mean, a guy that could stretch any body part? A guy that can make anything long? Come on, do I have to spell it out for you? P. Nokia jokes, obviously. He stretches his nose whenever he tells a lie. Would be a fun running joke. Good for the whole family, everyone will laugh. Good times. But no, Universal Studios wanted to give us this abomination and thank God that didn't happen. The last attempt on trying to make a Stretch Armstrong movie was on January 2011, when Relativity Media announced they had picked up the rights to make the film, and were planning to release the movie on April 11, 2014. The writer was supposed to be Dean Gorgaris, responsible for writing The Meg and The Macaroni Candidate, and Brett Eisner as director, who also directed The Last Witch Hunter. And according to a Relativity Picture press release from 2012, this origin story will be a gritty actioneer introducing the character of Lucas Armstrong, and the life or death consequences he'll face after undergoing a transformation, granting him his superhuman abilities. Which... Uh, haven't you seen what Universal Studios were about to do to Stretch? 
Why would you think this would have been a good idea? Look, Stretch is supposed to be funny. He, he stretches in any directions. It, it's supposed to be a fun time. It's not supposed to be something serious at all. He's a guy that's Stretch. That's stupid. It's silly. That's all it should be. Look, I'm not saying characters with wacky powers can't be serious at times. A character that comes to mind is Spider-Man. I mean, it's pretty silly power. I mean, spinning webs and crawling on walls and all that. It's pretty strange, but he could still be serious. There's some moments where that really got to me, like Spider-Man into the multiverse. Um, you know, the new Spider-Man that we have from Marvel. You know, it can have, you know, really deep moments. But your main focus shouldn't be making Stretch Armstrong into a serious character. It should be a funny character that has some serious moments. That's pretty much it. But you know, when it all boils down to, I still would have liked to see a Stretch Armstrong movie. It just would have been nice to see on the big screen. It's funny, it's stupid, and I bet it's something that people wanted to see done right. You know, if I can make this movie myself, here's what I'll do. Keep in mind, I'm no movie expert myself, never made a film in my life. But if I were to give it a shot, here's what I'll do with the property. First, I'll give creative freedom to Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. These guys are perfect for the role, because their comedy is top notch, and they already made a pretty good movie about a product. Second, I would make this film entirely animated, so that we don't get any weird CG effects trying to emulate stretching of an actual human. I mean, the guy's going to be completely bendy to begin with, so why not make him into a cartoon? And most importantly, I would give the main role of Stretch Armstrong to no other than Owen Wilson. Just kidding. It would probably be Chris Pratt since Phil Lord and Christopher Miller aren't familiar with working with him. Or hear me out, Dana Snyder. My hope is Dana Snyder since he can play up that sleazy slimeball role that uses his power for his own self-interest. Kind of like Master Shake. We have talked about this before. I like it at 7. This clearly says 6.8. What gotten into you, Cuff? You put fertilizer on your balls last night? Yes, but that is none of your concern. And to clarify, you will speak when spoken to. No, I think I speak when I walk. It's a free country, Jack. Oh, you like to be free, huh? Well, feel free to feel your ass burn. <laughs> Or be a reluctant hero that has a hard time adjusting to the real world. Kind of like Gaspacho. Either one would be great, just get Dana Snyder to play the part, and you got yourself a good movie. Funny enough, when doing research on Snyder, I found out he plays Plastic Man on Justice League action. And after watching a couple of clips of him, I could see this working, especially if he has another character in the movie to play off of. Do I hear a Mr. Potato Head sidekick? Probably not. I'm here to help with the stakeout! I love to- Shh! Plaz, quiet. I'm quiet! I'm a giraffe! It's like the quietest animal! But until we get our Stretch Armstrong movie, I guess we'll just have to deal with the Netflix TV series Stretch Armstrong and the Flex Fighters. Which, yeah, this exists. Netflix got the rights to make a TV series about Stretch, which came out on November 17th, 2017. So if you want to check it out, it's there. And it looks fine enough. But really, it's a stretch from what I wanted. Sorry to interrupt this family meeting. And by sorry, he means not sorry. Let's be totally clear. Look, Hasbro seems to be taking care of his property a bit more. Judging from the Bumblebee movie, of course. So, it's not a stretch to say a Stretch Armstrong movie might happen. But really, I'm not holding my breath. Hey, thanks for uh, watching my video. If you liked it, how about you subscribe and if you um, uh, give it thumbs up, thumbs up. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Um, so yeah, <sighs> outro done.